pets or anything like that. Um, I didn't want to risk our animals. So we made them out of shelving. Um, and then on top, we put wood. Um, it does have a top, a shelving top as well, but we put wood so that they have a little bit more protection. And then the tarps are in case it rains, it gets windy, a lot of sun, we can go ahead and cover them. Um, currently you guys won't see this, but we also have little fans we attached when it gets really hot. We took those off because it's winter so they don't need them. They really love this weather. Well, except for, uh, you can't really see on the other side of here. The box fan is still on the other side of there. So. Oh yeah, the twins. They get a 20 inch box fan. You'd be jealous. Okay, so this area of hutches is what we normally call the grow out hutch. Um, but we're not using it as such at this time. So if we start over here with Pedro, you'll notice he has that gray coloration as uh, Lola did over at the tower. Yep, from the same family. He is a buck from the same litter as Lola. He's actually um, going to be dispatched <laughs> at some point. Um, he's a, well, he's a gorgeous little buck as well. All of our rabbits are really sweet. They are very easy to be handled. Um, and they grow really well, which is amazing. Um, That's why I protect myself. He jumped off my chest and my arm and would have gouged both. And it's not like they do it on purpose. It's just yeah. when we are scheduling to process, we don't really trim the nails, which we should a lot more, but we don't trim the nails as much. He nearly got through it. <laughs> So, yeah, that's Pedro. We normally don't name them, but um, Hubby thought we were going to keep him. And then turns out we didn't need to, so he's going to be processed. Really?